Hello and welcome to this TempoZone tutorial aimed at guiding you through the installation of a UCA controller in the CWP90 water-cooled package unit. High levels of technology combined with its compact size mean that there are some specific items and setup parameters that you need to be cautious of if you're replacing the UC8 controller. This video will cover the items that are specific to the CWP90 with the assumption that the UC8 has been changed, dip switch is set, and the system ready to be energized. The CWP90 has two electronic expansion valves. EEV1 port on the UC8 operates the expansion valve controlling the evaporator. EEV2 port on the UC8 operates the cool plate responsible for cooling the inverter. It is important to ensure that the orientation of the EEV cables into these ports are correct. Because the two electronic expansion valves operate two different functions, the UC8 will need to be adjusted to ensure that the valves are controlled independently. To perform this adjustment, remove the remote on-off terminal Press and hold the SW3 push button until it displays zero and release. Tap the push button until the number four is displayed, then press and hold the push button to confirm. Tap the push button until the symbol N is displayed, then press and hold the push button to confirm. Tap the push button until the number nine is displayed, then press and hold to confirm. The correct EEV function is now selected. The next setting adjustment is to complete the compressor model selection. When the compressor model selection is confirmed, a set of operating parameters is uploaded to the compressor inverter to ensure correct running within design limits. With the remote on-off terminal removed, press and hold until the SW3 push button displays zero. Short press the push button until the number four is displayed Press and hold to confirm. When the letter E is displayed, press and hold the push button to confirm. Use short taps until the compressor selection displays P1-9KD240. Press and hold the push button to confirm. The compressor selection is now set. The compact size of the CWP90 can greatly be attributed to the use of R32 refrigerant, as the density of R32 is lower than R410A. This has allowed for a vast reduction in physical dimension of the indoor coil and the heat exchanger. The smaller coil size requires the detuning of the maximum and minimum indoor fan speed to avoid water carryover. If the unit is connected to a SAT3 controller, this function can be done at the touchpad. If a SAT3 controller is not connected, this setting will need to be adjusted at the UC8. Let's start with the UC8. Set the minimum airflow output voltage to 2 by removing the remote on-off terminal and press and hold the SW3 push button until the display says 0 and release. While the screen displays the number 1, Press and hold the SW3 push button to confirm. Tap the push button until the display shows L. Press and hold to confirm. Tap the push button until the number is Press and hold to confirm. Now set the high fan speed to 5 by pressing and holding the push button until the display says 0 and release. While the display shows the number 1, press and hold the push button to confirm. Tap the push button until the display says H. Press and hold to confirm. 
Tap the push button until the number is 5.0. Then press and hold to confirm. Fan speeds are now set. If the CWP90 is operated by a SAT3 controller, adjustment of the fan speed is inhibited on the UC8 and must be changed in the SAT3 controller submenu. To adjust low fan speed, hold down the mode and four buttons together for three seconds. When LO is displayed, Adjust the output voltage to two with either the plus or minus button. Low fan speed is now set. Now press the down arrow. HI should be displayed on the SAT3 controller. Use the plus or minus buttons to set the high fan speed output voltage to five. Press mode to confirm and save the changes. For further information to help your field diagnosis, be sure to download the latest version 8 of the Temperzone Service Training Manual from temperzone.com or ask for a hard copy at your local branch. Be sure to subscribe to the Temperzone YouTube channel for training and tutorial videos, product updates and much more.